Hi, Cher Pendarvis here. Welcome to video four of the Fine Art Series. In this video, we will touch on composition, explore a value study, and lay in color to develop the underpainting. On the left is the loose sketch, and on the right is the final painting, which I wanted to show again so we have in our mind where we're going. On the right, I've begun to add values using a larger version of the Warren Square pastel brush. With the updated interface in Painter 2020, we're able to click here on the icon to access items from the size panel, and I can increase the size of my brush to about so. Grab my stylus. Now I'm going to need to mix a blue here. I'm just going to select this blue that's in the harmony and by the way this is the complementary harmony here that I like to use and I'm going to gray it down a little bit and add a few more strokes to the sky. I'm adding these angled strokes because this day was very very windy so I'm using these dynamic strokes to give us the feel of the wind and I also use this brush to suggest values here on the bush. A little bit here where the canyon is. And I want to add a little bit more down here. I've also suggested falling rain on the horizon. And I can show you just by pulling strokes down like this. The study on the right shows a more developed value study. I've added dark brown directly over the blue sketch. The darker value plant shapes are large, medium, and smaller sizes for an interesting natural look. In the foreground on the right, I've used a smaller Warren Square pastel to suggest the grass which is lit by the sun. The light is hitting several areas of the landscape and water, as you see here. The placement of values, as well as compositional lines, such as the path, lead the viewer's eye to the focal point. Color, both muted and saturated, is also important to this composition. On the right, we have an image of my underpainting in progress. To lay in flat color over the value sketch, I use the opaque acrylic variant of acrylics. This brush paints strokes with crisp edges responsively. For this painting, I wanted a simple, bold painting experience, so I painted on the canvas without using layers. I mixed color by eye, similar to a complementary color palette, and I also used the harmonies panel and the complementary harmony. So I want to add some more right here, some more foliage along here and along here. And I'm going to use the command and option to scale my brush up a little bit. It will be control alt on a PC. Make a few more dots of color. Now if I wanted to paint on the sky, I could come up here to my harmony and select this purple shade and then I want to lighten it up a little bit, gray it down a bit more and paint some more strokes onto the sky. Sampling on the image. On the left is a later stage of the underpainting. As you can see, most of the flat color is laid in at this stage. I use the opaque acrylic brush for laying in most of the color. I also use the Warren Square Pastel to add color activity to the foreground acacia bush and to suggest the gold grass in the foreground right of the piece. In this video, we touched on sketching, values, and composition. We used the Warren Square Pastel Brush and the Opaque Acrylic Brush to build the underpainting. We mixed color by eye, and we also used the harmonies. In the next video, we'll build on the underpainting to complete the piece. Happy painting!